couple of uh, kind of points to add uh, you know in terms of yoga looking i mean i think we need to look at a plan for the next couple of years and not just this year because you know uh, the way education is going to be imparted is going to change not just for the next 8 10 months but uh, you know uh, there could be models etc to look at it over the next few years now having said that i think one of the concerns of e education and i mean it's a very innovative way to teach children whether you're an urban kid or a child in uh, you know studying in a rural village uh, it is exciting at the beginning to do e learning uh, but you also have to understand the constraints of e learning uh, one is uh, a uh, lack of you know internet connectivity in many parts of our country and children or parents may not have access to a smart tablet or a smartphone so how are those kids going to learn and uh, secondly over a period of time to keep children engaged uh, in, in you know i mean ultimately in education you do need the human aspect and you do need the teacher child connect so over what period of time uh, is you know e learning going to proved to be exciting and how are we going to actually look at measuring uh, outcomes and learning for children who are going to learn from home essentially either by themselves or with some kind of help coming from their parents who if they are you know if the children are first generation learners they're not going to be able to get that much help at home uh, from parents itself so i think these are some of the um points we need to consider uh, at least in respect of all the 500 schools that you guys have touched uh, over the last so many years and uh, we'll probably need to segregate the schools into buckets where you feel uh, you know e learning is going to work and if it doesn't then what is plan b so there has to be a plan b in terms of how are you going to reach children who don't have access to technology who don't have smartphones who don't have tabs at home uh and that's going to be very important from the whole um uh not just the outcome but even getting a uh, basic education across to these kids uh secondly i think even when schools open and i think every state is going to have its own calendar uh in terms of opening schools but uh, the emphasis on health and hygiene um cannot be reemphasized more at this point in time and also over the next 6 months at least in terms of how kids once they come back to school um you know there has to be a uh, uh like sops actually set down or some processes to ensure that there is hygiene maintained to ensure there is a little bit of social distancing uh, how that will practically work in in you know smaller classrooms in rural r- villages may also be a little bit of a constraint um so actually these were my thoughts and uh, specifically to the model that you know yuva has and yuva has created thank um, you thank so you I zia 